Stream 9 News anytime with 9 News Plus. Ooh, a little snazzy open there. The Buffs are back and the Dion era is here. Dion Sanders just named the head football coach at Colorado. Known as Primetime during his Hall of Fame career, he has transitioned now to Coach Prime. And we sure hope he brings whatever the magic was that led his undefeated season at Jackson State. Brings that here to Colorado next year. When this is one of the biggest coaching hires in Colorado State history. I mean, one of the biggest. Absolutely. A lot has happened in the past two hours. And what was once speculation, now excitement for his arrival. Sanders will be CU's 28th full-time head coach for the Colorado Buffaloes. He's agreed to a five-year contract, but we don't know how much it's worth right now. Sanders will be at an introductory press conference on campus tomorrow at 1.30. It's a really big deal for the Buffs, who are last in the Pac-12 this season. In a statement tonight, Athletic Director Rick George says, quote, not only will Coach Prime energize our fan base, I am confident he will lead our program back to national prominence while leading a team of high quality and high character. Jacob Toby joins us now with more. This Look at the smile on his face. Yeah. Deal. Yeah. This is a big deal. <laughs> very, very big deal. So many rumors and reports all day, and it wasn't even made official until just before 8.30 tonight. Jackson State actually canceled Coach Prime's post-game media session after their conference title game today so he could tell the team this. I know y'all been hearing the rumors and uh, everything that's been transpiring around about uh, my whereabouts and what I'm going to do. And I like for y'all to hear it from me and not uh, from anyone else. I've chosen to accept the job elsewhere next year. And just seeing what some of you guys uh, have climbed to is undern believable. And that's the thing that, that got me. I think if you watch that video, you really respect the way he he went about it. So many rumors. He said he didn't even tell his own family that he, it was making the official decision because there's just a lot of stuff going on. I love it. He said mama would tell everybody. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He also was telling his players, you're either going to get elevated in this job or terminated. Yeah. So it is, I think he said it is what it is. It, it is sad for them, surely, but for, sure. for him, that's incredible for us. It's great. For Colorado. Recruitment yeah. wise. Recruitment. We could do all sorts of stuff. A absolutely. And, and Colorado is making it a point to change sort of their, um, the way they go about recruiting. They're putting in a new pilot program for transfer credit review. It's been an issue in the past trying to get students here transferring in from other schools due to credit. So the school announced tonight that they're going to change that. That plus their new NIL initiative, their new collective with NIL. Colorado's kind of been behind in that aspect uh, since NIL has became a thing. Coach Prime is right at the forefront of NIL. He can really do some big things, partner up with some companies, get these uh, players some money and get some better players in here too. So it's going to be great. And judging from his past experience, he's going to have a lot to do with the community as well. Yeah, this guy really shaped the Jackson, Missouri community when he was there. I mean, he said it flat out uh, when there was a water issue there and they didn't have clean water. Uh, he said, quote, I'm not into politics, I'm into people. And he really cares about people and just trying to get them safe uh, and healthy there. So he, he did that. He also reached out to Walmart, got Walmart to pay for a whole new practice facility, mm. new field there. So he really did a lot for, for that community. Not to mention, he struggled with blood clotting issues. He had nine surgeries last year, made it back to the team, was around the team even with you know he was limping he was having trouble so he's just all in on kids that's that's his main thing he cares about the students he cares about the kids and he also wanted to shine a light on hbu schools historically black uh, colleges and universities he did that he, he took jackson state to a whole new level and colorado hopes that uh, it's going to back where they were once yeah going to be a big change between jackson mississippi and boulder colorado but yeah I'm sure he'll do well. Jacob, yeah. thank you. And you know who might be the most excited of all, of course, is the current students in Boulder. Luis De Leon is live on campus for us tonight, just trying to catch up with people. What are the students saying, Luis? How excited are they right now? Now, Jenny, Steve, basically everyone that we talked to realized why we were up here even in the first place. Some people were even yelling from their cars, prime time, when we were walking around with the camera. So a lot of energy right now around campus and around town as well. We spoke to students both on and off campus. Uh, they had to endure a lot this past season, to say the least, and they're just excited about what's to come. 
everyone leaves during halftime because we usually are down by so much. So I'm just really excited to like see a full football game play out. Well, it was rough, you know, and obviously, you know, there's going to be a change in culture, and we're really excited to see it. Sad it could be our senior year, but we'll be back for games. And he's he's prime time, baby. Like you gotta, like he'll be. <laughs> He's just awesome. Our football team, I was really worried for the next four years, we'd be complete, like we'd be really, really bad. But I think Dion will bring some energy that we actually need. Really, really bad, that student last said there. That's one way to describe the 1-11 overall season record there. But hey, students are excited that the sports world's worst kept secret is now official. Hey, we also spoke to uh, MSU Denver sports marketing professor Darren Duber-Smith today, specifically about how a person with such high notoriety already and what the impact could be there with having them come to uh, campus. And Jenny Stevie says it's really hard to downplay uh, the impact this could have on the CU brand uh, as well as is the possibility for recruiting more of what he calls high quality students and professors to the school. Heck, if we can keep them in the seats beyond halftime, that'll be a great, <laughs> great success. <laughs> Luis de Leon there you Boulder, go. thank you so much. Appreciate it. Obviously, a lot of excitement about this new hire. And it will continue into tomorrow. We will be streaming his first press conference with CU right here on 9 News starting at 1.30. We'll also be streaming that on 9 News Plus. And Jacob Toby will have more coming up later in this show in our sports segment. Tonight, the Avs lose five to one. I don't care about hockey. Deion Sanders is coming to Boulder. Yeah. Pretty darn exciting. Woo! As we were talking about, maybe he could lace up and play for the Avs because he played. <laughs> we we'll played baseball. Baseball. Yep. yep. No, but I just like, add another sport. What's the difference? Well, I right? mean, they've got no one left on the roster other than McKinnon and no. McCarr and and some, yeah. some Colorado Eagles. All right, prime time. Time to lace up the skates. I'm saying, Dion, <laughs> if you just landed, you're watching. <laughs> we could use I'm you sure, on the hockey. I'm sure he's watching us right now. Absolutely. Absolutely. Have a good night. Of course.